Good morning from Universal Orlando Resorts Parking Garage. We're headed in today because there's a lot happening at Universal right now. A lot of construction malls up, a lot of change happening. We're getting a, an entire new Minions area, the entire front of the park where Despicable Me Minion Mayhem has been rebranded as Minion Land. So we'll get a little bit of a construction update on there. We have a new tribute store coming that's gonna be Jurassic Park. This is the 30th anniversary of the release of the film. So there's a new tribute store that's opening May 26th. So we're gonna go inside and have a look at the progress of that. Have a look around, maybe head over to Islands of Adventure, see what else is happening in Universal Studios today. It's gonna be a fun day, let's go inside. Just checking in on the crowd level as we walk into City Walk. Doesn't look too bad. We'll see, oh, they got Fast and Furious cars out in front of the movie theater. Let's go look at them. So as an advertisement for Fast X coming out on May 19th, which is today. This comes out today. We've got a Hellcat here. This, this thing, like the engine sticking out of the hood looks kind of silly, right? What's it? Why is it it's just so big it has to stick out of the hood? Why not just make the hood a little bit bigger? We've got a charger. This makes sense. See, look at how much is the engine. This is a, a supercharger sticking out of the hood here. That makes sense as to why it has to stick out of the hood. Because it's really big. The one Is that the top of the supercharger on top of the uh, the other charger? There's just two chargers with superchargers. On the way in, they were playing Harry Styles. Now they're playing One Direction. It's gonna be a good day. Inside of City Walk, this is the old splash pad area that is just outside of the Universal uh, Legacy Store. And this, for a while, was a splash pad, like a little fountain, like a, I wouldn't consider it a splash pad. There was no like play elements to it. It was just like a splashing fountain. But then it went behind walls and then they took the walls down and it was just like a grass seating area. And then walls went back up. And from aerial views, we can see that they are digging up the concrete, maybe replacing it as a fountain object here that kids can go and splash in and run through. All right, our first stop is over here at Universal Studios, Florida. We're headed inside to check up on Minion Land, which is a new area here at Universal Studios. As we're heading in, you can see there are a lot of construction walls up around the front entrance. And from the looks of this, you see this barrel tile roof over top of the turnstiles here, completely gone on this side. So we don't know what they're replacing the turnstiles with, but they are replacing the turnstile covering, like the entrance to the front of the park is gonna look completely different very soon. So as soon as we walk in, things are starting to look completely different here on the left-hand side. So this is what they're calling Minions Land now, or Minion Land, starting with Despicable Me Minion Mayhem, which has been here. And then we're adding a new experience over here, a new attraction over here called Villain Con Minion Blast. And we'll get a closer look at that as we get around. There is a Betty Boop store here. I don't know if it's gonna stay as Betty Boop. They've taken the signs down. And then there's a new kiosk right here. So this kiosk was here before, it was just a popcorn churro cart, but now it has been completely torn down and rethemed. We don't know what it's gonna be. It's just the style kind of matches the update sign over here that tells you the wait times and the different times for the different shows. So I don't know what it's gonna be, but it does look nice. It looks like, what would you call this? Like Art, Art Nouveau or is this Art Deco? One of the two styles, old Hollywood. And so judging from the style, it's gonna fit this area here. So the Universal Studios store, this style is the same as this building here, this kiosk here and the building behind it. So I feel like these areas here are just gonna be front entrance Universal themed. And then once we get past this store over here, which is currently the Betty Boop store, once we get past this blue and yellow and we get to Villain Con Minions Blast, that's when Minion Land starts. So yeah, Minion Land will consist of Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, Illumination's Villain Con, Minion Blast, which is looking uh, pretty darn far along if you ask me. So looking at Illumination's Villain Con, Minion Blast, you can see they already have the attraction entrance wait time sign up and the express line sign up. And from what we've seen, this will be kind of like a conveyor belt type attraction where you stand on a moving walkway, and you have a blaster in your hand and you're going through blasting something. We don't know what you are blasting, but I think what you're trying to do is you're auditioning to be in the Vicious Six, to be the sixth member of the Vicious Six. So you can see we've got Brat, El Macho, Vector and Scarlet are over here, but then there is the Vicious Six as well. It's so much fun, it's a crime. Looks like lights are on in the queue in there. I'm feeling like, I'm sure they're doing work on the inside and it'll be way longer than I think, but from the outside, 
looks pretty done. Then we've got evil stuff this way, which would be the gift shop, just like super silly stuff is the gift shop coming out of Despicable Me Minion Mayhem, coming out of Villain Con Minion Blast, evil stuff will be the gift shop, I'm assuming. The Shrek gift shop was around the corner, but they could have moved it. And then just as we step past Villain Con, there it is. Minion on top of a cupcake. Look at him up there. So this, so this is the beginning of a block's worth of food items. You can see there's more facade going up, but this will be an entire facade back here. A bunch of different things. Some of them may not be actual shops. They may just be like fake doors for added atmosphere. But this particular thing is called Bake My Day. And I just noticed that the cherry that the minion is standing on top is some form of blaster. And it looks like it might move up and down maybe. I wonder if it will rotate and move up and down. That would be fantastic if it did that. It looks like it has the, like, the cutout for it to move up and down. Unless that's just theming so you know that it's a blaster. Ooh, before we get into this Bake My Day stuff and the rest of Minion Land, I did want to kind of circle back to Villain Con. We did get a little bit more information about it. it says guests will use an Eliminator X blaster guided along a moving walkway, causing as much chaos and destruction as possible to impress the villains to get more points. Universal has stated there will be no height requirement, although kids must be able to stand on their own to experience the attraction. And then guests will be able to track their progress in the Universal app to customize their Eliminator X blaster for subsequent ride experiences. So you'll be able to upgrade your blaster the more and more you ride this and you'll be able to get more points and like progress further and further on the ride. It's a lot of rewritability for sure, or attraction. I don't know if you would call it a ride or attraction because it's a moving walkway, similar to what you see out in the middle of City Walk. So I guess that Bake My Day was a bakery that was featured in Despicable Me 2. Oh, and then we've got more of the villains on this side of the Villain Con building over here. And this is what I was talking about with the various other facades along the block here. I don't think any of these are going to be actual physical storefronts that you can go into, but they will still be themed to Despicable Me and the Minions. And then all the way down here at the end, this will be Minions Cafe. And this is a, I don't know if it's going to be a duplicate of the restaurant, but there is a restaurant at Universal Hollywood called Minions Cafe. This one seems to have a little bit different of a menu than that one does. And then across from where Minions Cafe's entrance is, we've got Music Plaza and uh, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket, which don't seem to fit the theme here, but I don't think they're going to change anything about it. They could. They could re-theme Rip Ride Rocket to Minions if they wanted to. I don't know that they will, but they could. Because, like I said, there is no, you know, it doesn't matter that this is behind Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. It always has been. And you can kind of, like, draw the lines out of Minion Land so that it's this street and then it kind of includes that building down there but nothing on this side. And then 30 Rock is right here for Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. What's that up in that window up there? You guys see what I'm looking at up there? My camera doesn't zoom in far enough to see what it is. What is it, is it a plant? I think maybe it's supposed to be a plant. All right, so I walked down to the Tonight Shop, which is at the exit of Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. And if I turn behind me, we can see Minions Cafe right here with the blue scrim, but also, just last night, this went up. This is a, seems like it's gonna be a popcorn stand. It says, pop banana. So I'm thinking it might be banana flavored popcorn maybe? But this looks awesome. That might open up before anything else. Cause it seems to be done. Like you just gotta connect the wires and things like that. And then if I turn this way, you can see there is still minion themed construction walls around this kiosk, which has started to have construction work done to it. So I'm wondering, are they gonna theme this to Minions as well? So like, like I said, there are no rules to what a land needs to be. Oh, also this big green building is gonna have Illumination real big written on it because Illumination is the studio that made Minions. So there's no real like rules to what can be included in a land in a theme park. So this kiosk could be themed to Minions even though it is in Music Plaza. So it's fine, like it could do that and they could just keep Music Plaza and keep Rip Ride Rocket. And I think that's probably what will happen. But stay tuned, you never know, things could change. Came back up to bake my day because I did also want to point out, we were just talking about the kiosk down there that it has some construction going on, but also has minion themed construction walls around it. If we come back to bake my day and we turn right next to us here, 
this little kiosk here is already selling minion items. You know, but it is also selling universal themed items. So we've got kind of a little bit of a mix here. And we've got all the popcorn buckets too. There is $38 for this popcorn bucket, but it includes the first fill of popcorn for free. Universal also released some of the photos of the food that's coming to both Minions Cafe and Bake My Day. And I just want to kind of put them in over here so you guys can see them because they look amazing. And I cannot wait to try them because they look amazing. I can't wait. I'm very excited for the food. As I was standing here looking at Bake My Day, I noticed over on Villain Con, where the exit used to be for Shrek 4D, there is still a post for a sign. And this is where the Shrek gift shop was. Right there where that post is sticking out of the roof. So maybe they're keeping a gift shop over there? I don't know. This is all speculation, nothing confirmed. So now we're doing a little bit of backtracking. We're headed back towards the front of the park because we need to head over to the Hollywood section of the park. The last thing I want to mention is that the only opening day for Villain Con Minions Blast that we have is summer of 2023. So it is opening this year and pretty soon because summer is right around the corner. All right, so back at the Universal Studios store and turning towards the Betty Boop store that we were talking about earlier and passing by a Hello Kitty store, we're headed to the Hollywood section of the park, which is where the new location of the Tribute store is. I feel like minions are taking over this park because as we come over here to the Brown Derby hat shop, right out front, we've got, well, I guess illumination things are taking over the shop because we've got the characters from Despicable Me, We've got Secret Life of Pets. Secret Life of Pets and Despicable Me out front. Yes. And then Hello Kitty. So here we are at the Five and Dime as Dora and Boots cross the street. Is he wearing those boots? Boots is ahead of the trend. Those are those boots, right? Wow. But we are right across from the Five and Dime right now, looking at the new location of the Tribute Store. And this Tribute Store, the Summer Tribute Store, is a tribute to Jurassic Park for the 30th anniversary. And this tribute store will be opening on May 26th. Hopefully there will be a pass holder preview or some maybe soft opening before then. Oh, okay, so it's a tribute store that is based on the making of Jurassic Park. Interesting. I hope they talk about how they had to jump islands in Hawaii because of a hurricane. They were originally filming on one island and then they ended up on Oahu because a hurricane came. <laughs> boots, the original fashion icon with his big red boots. Fantastic. Dora, you're great too. But Boots, fashion icon. Over here, Williams of Hollywood. So the tribute store goes from here, the entrance, all the way through the dark room and all the way into Williams of Hollywood where you will exit. So it is a fairly good sized store. The last tribute store was a bit disappointing in my mind. So I'm excited to see what this one's like because maybe it'll be more immersive. So tonight is an event called Grad Venture, and I feel that's why we have removed the hot rods from out in front of Mel's drive-in, because there used to be like a, like a 32 Ford and a couple of other things out here. And you can see they've got a little stage set up there for a DJ booth for Grad Venture. Now we are headed into the rest of the park just to kind of explore. We can see that they are doing some work on the lagoon out here and the lagoon water show. They've got all kinds of scaffolding set up out here. Is this scaffolding or is this where they, where the actual like show takes place? I'm gonna have to get a little bit closer look around the corner over here, see what all is involved in this. Cause right now I don't see any nozzles. So yeah, these are just scaffolding right here, a place for people to walk out into the center. And I'm assuming work on the cinematic spectacular stuff. So there used to be a Bellagio style fountain show here in the lagoon. That was called the Universal Cinematic Spectacular, and that has since retired, and I'm sure they're going to be putting something else in here. Here in the San Francisco area, we are at the exit of Fast and Furious Supercharged, and we still have more cars, the same same Dodge Charger that's out in the front of the park, or at the, the, at the theater, but we also have a Harley here. Is this a little Sportster? Or a little, like, it's a little liquid-cooled Harley. Hmm. Yeah, it's got a, it's a, a 1250 in it, so it's like a Sportster engine. It's a little baby, little baby bike though. Got a, I got a few problems with this motorcycle. Number one, rear view mirrors. How, what are you doing? You can't drive without rear view mirrors. How are you seeing what's happening around you? Number two, no front fender. You're just getting like all kinds of dirt in your face. 
All right, so here we are, the London waterfront, and I have some gifts that I have to buy. So we're heading into Diagon Alley, looking for some specific wands. So we're gonna go to Ollivander's. In case you haven't been into Diagon Alley, and you don't know how to get there, I wanted to keep the camera rolling as we go through the brick wall. You can hear the bricks moving. And the big reveal. One of these days I'm gonna turn the corner and that dragon's gonna be blowing fire and it's gonna be amazing. Today was not that day. So here we are, right in front of Gringotts Bank. We're gonna go into Ollivander's right here. Pick out a couple of wands. So I will say that if you wanna do the full show, you can go to the end of the block and get in line there to do the full show where somebody in the audience gets their wand pick for them or their wand picks them. But right now we're gonna go into Spindle Warps which is actually the other side of the wand shop here. And I think we'll probably need some help from a team member to try to find the correct wand that we are looking for. So if you're looking for a specific wand, these ones with the gold tags on them are for specific characters. So we got Luna over here, you got Ron Weasley over here, you got Ginny Weasley over here. And then we've got these white boxes, which are the collector's wands, like special limited edition stuff. And then back in the back, the ones with just the O's on the box. The ones with the O's on the box are non-character specific, and they kind of give a description of each one over here. This would be the one that would pick you. And they kind of describe how it's a good match or what it's a good match for. So like this one right here, wands crafted of aspen wood are especially good match for strong-minded masters. Adding a core of unicorn hair which should result in consistent magic, accommodating for the slightest bit of recklessness, sometimes associated with a headstrong caster. And all of those ones are over here. They're pretty cool. I'm trying to pick out the one that I have. I don't know if they make the one that I have anymore. Our next stop is over here at the Magical Menagerie. Gotta pick out maybe some some uh, pygmy puffs or something like that. Looking up on the top shelf here, we've got a crumphorn snorkak, which has never been seen. This is a stuffed toy version. You can kind of see the stitching underneath. But this is a magical creature that Luna was convinced was real, even though nobody had seen it. Here in this little bridge area between London and Springfield, during the festivals or during like an event like Mardi Gras, which just ended, there were food trucks and food booths over here, and now it feels fairly empty and wide open because there are no food locations. Made it over to the Springfield section and they seem to have moved the construction walls back to include, there used to be like a, uh, a hammer game, like a strongman type hammer game back here that is gone and now everything is surrounded by walls here. So I'm trying to figure out what is, we're going up towards the entrance to the Springfield or to the Simpsons ride just to see what's going on. Like where is, how do we get around this? Ah yes. I can't believe that like Fox never paid me to be the body double model for Willie. It's just mind blowing. I can't believe I never got that check in the mail. But yeah, as you can see this is all new concrete out here. This looks great, right? Is it new? It looks like it's been new or at least repainted. And then the tongue coming out. No, this seems to be the same. Maybe this isn't new concrete yet, but we are right up against these uh, these games here, carnival games. I can't believe I still haven't gotten the check from Fox for being the the likeness image of Ralph Wiggum. All right, so I did meet a friend out here. I met Nick on Instagram, the theme park dad, and he tells me he's never seen Simpsons. I feel shame. You shouldn't feel shame, it's okay. <laughs> but there are a lot of shows that people haven't seen, but I have a question for you. Oh dear. So this is Jebediah Springfield, uh -huh. the founder of Springfield. What do you think a quote from Jebediah Springfield would be? I have no idea. That's a pretty good quote. I have no idea. <laughs> is that what Jebediah Springfield would have said? And it's kind of sad that this, this whale is here blocking it. By the way, this little like trash thing is called a whale. I wonder if I can, let's move it out of the way because there's a sign I here that says what his quote is. For Bart. Oh, that's pretty good. Bart <laughs> wasn't around, but a noble spirit embiggens the smallest man. Interesting. Right? I never would have gone there, but I mean, I'm, I'm inspired. It's where I learned the word in Biggins. <laughs> so it's good having somebody that doesn't know, like Springfield, doesn't know anything about it, yeah, but he knows that there are big pink donuts here in Springfield and you would get them from Lard Lad Donuts. 
but it's not the only location you can get them from. Let's go explore into the Quickie Mart. Here we go, we're going into the Quickie Mart. And inside the Quickie Mart for $10.99, you can get the Big Pink, the donut. You can get it in, this is like a strawberry flavor, or you can get it in chocolate as well. The chocolate one seems to be bigger today than the Big Pink is. It's a Simpsons challenge. I want you to start naming off characters. All right, I think he's Homer. That is Homer, yeah. And that's Bart. Yes. That's all I got. You don't know like Ned Flanders? Um, nope, is that Ned? No, he's, that's Mr. Burns. He's got the mustache <laughs> right here. Ah, okay. Wait, I just told you their dog's name. Uh, something about Santa's little helper. Yeah. What's this cat's name? Mm, it's a black cat. Sparkles. It's a black cat, that's the hint. <laughs> what would you name a black cat that was the second black cat that you've owned. <laughs> Second black cat? This is called Snowball 2. Ah. Interesting. Who, who's this guy? We're in his store right now. I have no idea. That's a poo. What's the bus driver's name? She looks like a Sandy. That's Otto. <laughs> oh no. What about these two? They don't look very friendly. No, they're not. They seem like they... Uh... Those are Marge's sisters. Okay. Marge, is that the... That's Marge, yeah. Okay, so they're this the is aunts. Patty and Selma, yeah. Uh, okay. Who's this between them? He um, is Bert. Bert. <laughs> Very close. His name is Hans Moman. <laughs> How about this? You know, he just looks like a friendly guy just he going is. for a walk, ready for the rain. Well, no, he's protecting Mr. Burns. Oh, is that his job? Yeah. He's he is assistant? Mr. Burns' assistant. His name is... Carl. Uh, Wayland. What is it? Smithers. Wayland. Is he Smithers. holding grapes? Oh, yeah, for Mr. Burns. Eating Mr. Burns. Wow, yeah. I kind of feel bad for this guy. What? Is, wait, I told you this guy's name, right? I don't think so, but he looks very panicked. His name is Willie. Willie. This one's Millhouse. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Uh, Lisa, Maggie. Yeah. Uh, oh. What was the mom's name again? Marge. Marge. Seymour Skinner. Agnes Skinner. Actually, uh, looks like an Agnes. That's an Agnes. If I've Mrs. ever seen one. Mrs. Uh Ronald. Ronald. <laughs> you might get this one right. <laughs> oh, I like that he's putting something up his nose. Yeah. Um, uh, Luke. His name is Ralph. <laughs> and this is. Why would I have gotten Chief Ralph? Wiggum. I don't know. He kind of looks like a Ralph, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Is that Black Cat 1 or Snowball no, 1? No, no, this is one of the two, Itchy or Scratchy. I never really know which no. one's which. Mortimer. Mortimer, no, that's Itchy or Scratchy. One of the two. Oh, oh, God. One of them's a mouse, one of them's a cat. Itchy What's the scratchy. clown's name? That's Krusty. Okay. There's a Krusty burger Krusty right next to it. Krusty Crab How do you not know this? <laughs> Mr. Duff. Oh, very close. His name is Duffman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very nice. And these guys all have their names underneath them. All right, so we made it through Springfield. Now we're back by Animal Actors. You can see they are working hard at the kid zone demolition and like we've said before we believe that this will be a dreamworks section of the park based on the characters that are on the wall you could say the writing is on the wall all right my favorite thing to do is to pop quiz nick <laughs> that's like a pastime of mine now and I who are these i have no idea oh man they're from gabby's dollhouse ah uh, i've never watched it now you'd think i would know oh that is that gabby that's gabby right uh, there yes What's uh, that's her, her favorite cat, or I guess, I don't know if they would say her favorite. She wouldn't pick a favorite, but that's, that's Pandy. And this is a baby box, and I don't really know all. Uh, Why are is, there two baby boxes? Is, What's this other one? Is baby box, was she once like a Happy Meal box? No, I don't know. She's like the crafty one. But why are there two of them? I'm confused about this. I mean, they're all different shapes and sizes. No, I mean, there's two baby boxes. It's the same thing? Yeah, those are the same character. Oh, I don't know. But they have different, maybe there's not, because they're wearing different dresses and stuff. Yeah. I don't know, she's fun because she's in a different frame rate than all the other characters. Oh. Which is neat to watch. That's cool. She meets here, I think, at the park somewhere. Gabby does. Yeah, yeah. Not Baby Bob. Right, right, right. Who's this guy? Uh, he looks so familiar to me. You know, he reminds me of the game that I used to play on the computer. Oregon Trail? <laughs> no, not that old time. Captain Underpants? <laughs> That's who that is, right? The I don't think so. Of? Is it? Maybe. I don't really know. Is the dog part of the same franchise? I have no they're idea. like next to they each other. They seem like they're friends. Right? Megamind? Like Megamind, yeah. yeah. And Spirit? Spirit. The, the Croons? Something like that. We're following our way to the E.T. entrance because it's confusing now. It's the E.T. is behind walls back there. Kung Fu Panda. Uh, what's his name? I oh? don't remember. The, penguin. the Penguins of Madagascar? I love them. Uh, One of the trolls. Guy Diamond? This is... Oh, I didn't see this movie. Abominable? Yeah. That's Captain Underpants. Uh -huh. He's bald. But I think that's the kid from Captain Underpants. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then this, I don't know. Bad guys. Bad guys? Yeah. 
20 minutes for are we going in ET? This is it. Are we going in? Let's do it. Why not? Then there's the boss baby. Look at him. What a boss. He's the boss. So we seem to be going in the side back entrance, sort of where they give you your passports. We're going through over here and then we're going to uh, circle back around it looks like. I do like the fact that we've got how to train your dragon stuff going on over here. We believe that there will be a very large how to train your dragon area in Epic Universe, but hopefully they put something in this part too. ET needs your help. ET must go home and only you can help him. Ah, ET. That's right, ET. You and ET are making your 3 million light year journey. Oh my goodness, that's going to be so much pedaling. Don't worry, you don't have to pedal. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just like Islands of Adventure. <laughs> the adventure begins. Ooh. Is Botanicus coming? What's happening? Some lasers happening. There he is. Botanicus. They're getting away. Unit three. Cut them off. What is NASA doing here? I guess that makes sense. He's an alien. Roscoe. So I watched this movie recently, and there was a lot of like, emphasis put on the jingling of the guy's keys. I'm not really hearing that jingling in this ride. Watch out! Whoa, watch it! Hey look, they're flying! Look, they're flying! We did it! Look at us! I'm really glad we don't have to pedal. So like, I guess my biggest questions are like, how are we breathing in space? And how do we travel three million light years on bikes? I guess that little tunnel there. Oh look, we did it! Oh no. Your planet doesn't look good, E.T. We need to go to Tickly. Tickly, out. Do. I hope he says my name. My name, friend, Jessica, Marge, Matthew, Josh, Katie, Ethan, Ron. That was none of those were my name. I feel like I'm going by Steven now. We we came out of the ride and I thought, oh, I'll have a little treat for riding ET. I'll have some Reese's pieces. But the store is behind the construction mall, so you cannot go into the ET store or the ET photo op after the ride anymore. Currently, while Kid Zone is still under construction. Over here at Central Park Crepes, and is this canopy, like this awning new? It's like a retractable awning over here. I think it is. Like they just added it on to make a little covering here for people waiting for their crepes. And I believe that this street corn crepe is new. Roasted corn, cojita cheese, jalapenos, ancho marinated chicken, cilantro lime crema, blue corn tortilla. Sounds great. Before we leave this park, we're heading to the five and dime, five and ten. We're gonna have a look around because sometimes they have horror night stuff in here and currently they do. Chucky has already been announced. That was the first house to be, look at this mask is frightening. This was the first house announced for Halloween Horror Nights this year it was the Chucky house. Oh, look at this. A reaction. Chucky, that's fun from Child's Play 2. Exciting. Oh, they have them all. We have Frankenstein, Bride, Wolfman, Dracula. And we got some shirts here too. The the Chucky one was $25. Do you think these are all $25? Yeah, $25. We got a lot of them for sure. Mummy, Dracula, Wolfman, Creature, Bride. Frankenstein? Bride? They gave her a little bit of like a upgraded look, didn't they? I like that for $120 you can have a, the bones of the creature from the Black Lagoon. They sell them in this shop. Do have some Halloween Horror Nights merch here. It says, see you in the fog. Halloween Horror Nights 2023 for $16. A little trucker hat for $30. And then a magnet down here. Let's guess the price of the magnet. I say 12. Oh, nine, okay. Ah, Scoob and Shaggy. They're scared of all the monsters. That Same. makes sense. Same but how can you be scared of such a beautiful behind? I do have to admit, that booty is amazing, startling, shocking. On our way out, I stopped by Today Cafe. Oh man, I'm trying to be on a diet right now, but those chocolate chip cookies, they are enticing. A s'mores croissant? Oh my goodness gracious. Chocolate croissant with like, oh, some marshmallow topping on the top. A little bit of a crisp to it. 
Wow, that sounds so good. As we're leaving studios, we're gonna head over to Islands of Adventure, but this construction wall heads way outside here. This was the construction wall for demolishing the turnstile coverings. All right, so because Nick is here with me and he's not really a universal goer, I'm gonna take him back and show him the piece of the Berlin Wall behind the Hard Rock Cafe. Also, did you know that there is a white piano in here? There's a replica inside. I thought you might end the bushes. <laughs> no, no, inside of the Hard Rock Cafe, there's a replica of John Lennon's New York apartment. Oh, that's cool. The white apartment. Wow. And there is a white piano in there, a white grand piano, not John Lennon's piano. But they've taken all the keys off and sent them off to various pop stars to have them sign them. Oh. And so, like, there's a bunch of very, so cool. very exclusive kind of signatures on that piano. Very cool. Like Stevie Wonder's on it. Wow. They have it covered in plexiglass. Wow, that's awesome. So we've gone just to the right of Hard Rock Cafe. And we're headed back here towards the previous Blue Man Group location slash Nickelodeon Studios. There's another fun fact about Universal is they used to produce the Nickelodeon shows here, like Family Double Dare and stuff like that. We're all produced back here in these sound stages. But we're headed back. This is a replica of CBGB's up in New York. And then right back here is a piece of the Berlin Wall. And this is it. This is a piece of the Berlin Wall. Over here at Islands of Adventure, about to head in, but I wanted to point something out. Over here, there's a tree and there is kind of like a compass rose here on the ground and this compass rose if you were to look at it from above is a duplicate of the compass rose that is around the universal globe over there so there's been a long-standing rumor around universal studios and islands of adventure saying that when islands of adventure was first built they were going to take another globe and put it over here where this tree is and now because the, the, the layout looks the same from above, but now we just have this tree up here. And I don't know if that's true or not, but it has always been a rumor saying we were supposed to have two globes. But also the compass rose is around the name Islands of Adventure up there on the lighthouse. So it could just be Islands of Adventure theming. So we just have one thing to look for here inside of Islands of Adventure, and that is the annual Passholder Lounge which we believe should be over in the Betty Boop location. Just popped into Island Trading Company to get some air, and this is fun. So you buy a Minion in its underwear, right? And then you can get little outfits for it. Like they could be a unicorn, or they could be wearing their traditional Minion overalls with their little underwear sticking out. $19 for the base Minion and $16 for each uh, outfit. So they also have the Minion car popcorn bucket but I have not seen this selfie minion popcorn bucket anywhere. I'd like to find it, I'll be on the lookout. They've got a lot of the car ones, but I'm not seeing the selfie one anywhere. All right, so we are headed into Superhero Island and then we're gonna pass through and head over to Toon Lagoon. Can't be a very busy day when the roller coaster is not full at all. All right, and out of Superhero Island and into Toon Lagoon. You can kind of see the tune in the background there. There we go. Officially in Toon Lagoon. Oh, there's like a little churro stand out here. So I thought that this is where... Where is Betty Boop? I thought it was right here. Is this where the uh, the pass holder lounge is? Where is the... Oh, over there? Let's find out. It is. The UOAP Universal Orlando Annual Pass Holder Pass Holder Lounge. Let's relax. Open daily, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's yeah, nice. It's just like a little relaxing spot with some air conditioning. You can buy annual pass holder merch. And just annual pass holder merch. Oh, and some other things. Fans and towels and flip-flops. If you need flip-flops, it's the place to come. So also in celebration of the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park, this is our annual pass holder magnet we just picked up. And that is all we needed to see in Islands of Adventure. And it looks like Mother Nature is telling us Time to get out of here. So let's head out. On the way out, Dr. Doom Fearfall is only a five minute wait. Might as well, right? Just a quick up and down. Ooh, Doombots. Look at those guys. I'm sure this is doing something very important. If there's anything every evil layer needs, it's gigantic pipes. That's just air conditioning though. Here we go. We're gonna secure all of our loose items in here. I'm trying to put my phone in here so it's pointed up so we can see us flying through the air.
weak mortals. I finally have the power I need to crush the Phantom before the triumph of Dr. Doom is... Hey, you did it. Welcome back to the subject. You're going to push in, then push out. You're going to push in, then push out. We did it! It was fun and exciting. I like it. Uh, I like Dr. Doom Fearfall. This is your first time riding it? First time. Did you like it? I did. I have a fear of heights, so those types of rides freak me out a little bit, but I enjoyed it. It was I a very nice to, view. tried to take your mind off of it by pointing things out to you. Yeah. Did it I, work? Uh, I think maybe that was reminding me that I could see more than I probably oh, should be able to yeah, see. Okay. But you, you, were, you were very supportive. I okay, you did great. <laughs> got some atmosphere performers over here. How's it going? You guys off on another expedition or something? Oh, he's playing the Jurassic Park theme song. How do you know the Jurassic Hello, Park travelers. theme song? What's that? So how do you know the Jurassic Park theme song? I've been there. You've that's been why there. I'm over here. There's oh, dinosaurs over there. That's a good point. I'm not going back. And plus, if you look right here, look what you see all the way down there. What does it say? Jurassic Park. Brad Venture? I don't, what? In orange? Oh, Jurassic Park. You can see it from here. His head was in the way. I'm sorry. Oh, there it is. I couldn't see it. Isn't it always? Yeah. Because I don't actually go there because, well, yeah. the missus don't let me out there. So. Oh, yeah. It makes sense. It's very scary. Probably safer that way. I would, if she didn't say anything and if she wasn't watching, I would. You'd be over there in a minute. In a heartbeat. Fighting the dinosaurs like nobody's business. Why well, you got to fight them? Two fists. They're not like a little um, kitty cat that you can just pet and love. You have to fight them. I just did. I don't. did. I, I have. I have pet a dinosaur over there, though. You have. Yeah, they had a and dinosaur. You still have all your limbs. Yeah, it's just a baby. Oh, it's the baby. So, yeah. I, I don't. I don't. I don't die. Deal with more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I wouldn't go near the big ones. Yeah. Oh, I'll well, leave that I to do, you. Because I don't fear. Right. But the wife, the missus, you know. Yeah. Well, okay. I'll go talk to her and see if I can convince yeah, her please, otherwise. Let her, All right. let her know. Just, but don't hurry, though. Don't okay, worry. yeah. I'll, <laughs> Take bye. your time about it. Will do. All right, so there you have it. That was our trip out to Universal Studios and over to Islands of Adventure. We got to check out all of the new Minions Land stuff going on at Universal Studios. We got to see the facade of what will become the Jurassic Park Tribute Store opening May 26th. And then we came over to Islands of Adventure and we saw the new annual pass holder lounge. Uh, annual pass holder lounge just a nice spot to stop and get some AC you can pick up your magnet there nothing too special about it the tribute store I'm excited to see when it opens I'm a big fan of Jurassic Park I saw it like four times in the theater when it was out in the theater excited to see what they do in there and then I'm really excited for the Minions Land I just found out today that the bear is named Tim and they have a chocolate puff that's in the shape of the bear named Tim that they're going to serve either at Bake My Day or at Minions Cafe. I'm not sure which one, but I'll be able to eat a chocolate puff named Tim as a person named Tim. That's very exciting to me. So I'm excited for all the things that are coming to Universal Studios and stuff that's happening over at Islands of Adventure. Excited to see what happens in the future. All in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.